what do we mean when we say equilibrium and dynamic equilibrium? Let's back up a little bit and everything we've done to this point both in first semester general chemistry and um, up to now in second semester, we've been writing and studying reactions that only proceed in one direction and that would be uh, the forward direction going from reactants to products. So when we do that, we depict these reactions using a single arrow, a single arrow that goes from left to right. So any equation that you have seen uses this. So now we're going to have a different reaction. So we have hydrogen gas, iodine gas, making hydroiodic acid gas. Now, do you see here you have a double arrow there? That's an equilibrium thing. So what, is, what does this mean when we see an equation like this? Hydrogen and iodine, they can combine in order to form hydroiodic acid. So this would be our forward reaction. And also hydroiodic acid can decompose back into the hydrogen and iodine. And that would be the reverse reaction. So initially, the rate of our forward reaction is very fast. So initially we're going to go from left to right. And that's gonna be very fast. But the rate, so remember we talked about rates, is going to decrease as we use up our reactants. So initially the rate of the reverse reaction, so that would be our decomposition reaction going from right to left, is going to be very slow because we don't have very much hydroiodic acid. But as the reaction, as we, as time goes on, the rate is going to increase because we're forming more hydroiodic acid, so more of it is available to decompose. So we're going to use the double arrow to indicate that only some of the reactant molecules are converted into products. So this is a reaction that does not go all the way to what we would consider completion. All the reactants do not make products, only some of them do. So we talk about the concept of dynamic equilibrium and that is where the rate of the forward reaction equals the rate of the reverse reaction. So when we're in this dynamic equilibrium, both of the reactions are actually still occurring, but there is no change in the concentrations of the reactants and the products. So the reactions are still going on, but we can't see any effect of that. Now, the concentrations of our reactants and the products, when we're in equilibrium, are not necessarily equal to each other once equilibrium is reached. So not all reactions go all the way to completion, but now some of them, that doesn't mean we're in equilibrium, it's gonna be half reactants and half products. That doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna be the case. It might be, but more than likely it's not. 